Well, certainly been another busy week for both sides of the campaign and President Obama and a top U.S. ally working to hash out their differences. Our Washington Bureau correspondent Alex Miller finds herself in a much different location this morning to bring us the latest in political news. Good morning from windy, windy Iowa. I'm out here covering the Democratic debate that's happening tomorrow night, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's check out the week's biggest stories. Republicans got their chance at another debate Tuesday night, this time run by Fox Business. And after those CNBC complaints, Fox stuck pretty close to the serious lines of questioning. The smaller debate stage allowed each candidate to step up their game. Cruz and Rubio gave steady performances, ones that will likely help them in the polls. And for Jeb, it was a better performance than the last, but he's still got more work to do, especially with his competition rapidly gaining support. And John Kasich, well, let's just say he didn't miss an opportunity to chime in. There were a few elbows, there were some jabs, but this is really where we want to see these debates going forward. Back in Washington, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu made his first trip to the U.S. since the Iran nuclear deal was approved and had his first visit with President Obama in more than a year. For both Obama and Netanyahu, a patched-up relationship is important amid growing problems within Israel. There have been more than 80 attempted lone wolf stabbings of Israeli civilians in recent months. The U.S. currently provides $3 billion in aid to Israel every year, and that deal will soon expire. Obama says he wants to get a head start on new negotiations for U.S. aid. And finally, the reason why I'm out here, the Democrats will be debating Saturday night here in Iowa. Now, it's proving to be a much smaller stage since Jim Webb and Lincoln Chafee dropped out, so it will only be Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Martin O'Malley left to battle it out. Now, you might be asking why Democrats have debates scheduled on Saturday nights. It's something that's been widely criticized as a move to protect Hillary Clinton. But regardless, Democrats are hoping the debate features a substantive conversation with less than three months till the Iowa caucus. Reporting in Iowa, Alex Miller, Valley News Live. And that debate starts at 8 o'clock Saturday night on CBS News.